Hello, I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Life Ministries. Today I would like to talk to you about the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 1 through 8 says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galilean? And how hear we every man in our own tongue, wherein we were born? The Holy Ghost makes things that are impossible, possible. It gives you power to do the things God says you can do. Acts 1 and 8 says, You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Here is what you need to know. In order for you to receive the Holy Ghost, you must know who Jesus Christ is. It is Jesus Christ who gives the Holy Ghost. And he only gives it to those who believe in him. When the disciples and the people that were in the upper room received the Holy Ghost, the word tells us, suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. There are those who do not believe in speaking or praying in tongues and they refuse to preach or teach this part of God's Word. Whether you believe or do not believe, it doesn't change God's Word. There are those who believe that tongues are just different languages that people speak around the world. The Bible says, every man heard them speak in his own language. It also says, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it set upon each of them. They saw something that looked like tongues of fire. The flames separated and fell on each of them. The word calls it cloven tongues. Cloven means to split or divide apart. The Holy Spirit is not limited to just speaking the languages of the world. He speaks the language of God and the angels and the world. When the word says they heard them in their own language, this means they heard them in their own dialect. When they spoke with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance, they not only spoke the languages of the world, they also spoke the language that only God can understand. And this is called unknown tongues. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 14 and 2, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understand him, how be it in the spirit he speak mystery. He also says in verse 14, For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit pray, but my understanding is unfruitful. We cannot understand unknown tongues. We do not know what we are saying, but we must trust the Holy Spirit and believe he is praying the perfect will of God over us. Romans 8, 26 and 27 says, the Spirit also helps us in our weakness because we do not know how to pray for what we need, but the Spirit intercedes along with our groans that cannot be expressed in words. 
The one who searches our heart knows what the Spirit has in mind. The Spirit intercedes for God's people the way God wants him to. Somewhere we have picked up a bad habit along the way because we do not understand how something works or because we cannot see it in the natural. We do not believe it. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, We walk by faith, not by sight. We also know everyone who speaks in an unknown tongue is not necessarily filled with the Holy Ghost. Jude 17 through, Jude 17 through 20. Beloved, remember ye the words which, we, which were spoken before, before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you that should be markers in the last time who shall walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they that who separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit, but ye, beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. I do believe that everyone that is filled with the Holy Ghost speak and pray in an unknown tongue. Because the Holy Ghost teaches us the Word of God. He leads and guides us. The Holy Spirit tells us to speak in tongues. We must believe the Word of God. Matthew 4 and 4, Jesus said, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Psalms 107, 19 and 20, Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And he saved them out of their distress. He sent his word and healed them. And delivered them from their destruction. Isaiah 55 and 11 say it. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper and the things where I send it. The word of God will heal you. And deliver you. Acts 2 and 38. Through 41. Then Peter said unto them. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you. And to your children. And to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourself from this onward generation. Then they that gladly received his word was baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. These are people who heard the word of God. They accepted the word of God. And Jesus Christ for who and all that he is. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. God never expected us to do anything without the Holy Ghost. You cannot do anything without Jesus. You must believe. You must accept the word of God. This is the only way you can be filled with the Holy Ghost. You must have the Holy Ghost.